So let's take a look at the new 991 Cyvex plug and play kit. The kit works for the manual transmission and the uh, favoured PDK transmission. And you can just can see here, we've got the ignition turned on and uh, although there's loads of warning lights, this is as normal when the ignition is just on. So we can then fire the car up. And you can see all the warning lights go out. The only light we've got at the moment is for the tyre pressure because one of the tyre pressures is low. Just want to show that that system still works. And the other one is the brake light because we've got the rear spoiler out where we've actually plugged the ECU in and uh, been calibrating it. So, worth looking over a few parts of the kit. The first thing that's worth looking over is going onto the calibration screen of the Cyvex using SCAL. Now, one thing that we've done with this kit is we've allowed the, the kit to be able to clear the, the DTCs on the whole car. So, if you have any uh, uh, like errors on the transmission, ABS and stuff like that, you can now actually clear that directly from the Cyvex. And because we've actually teed into the OBD uh, functions and that, we've actually communicated with the transmission issue like we do on the GTR kits and the other kits like the Hurricane to pull over the clutch pressures and clutch temperatures. So you can actually see if I was to put this into gear now, see it goes into gear, the all-wheel drive activates it to go to rear-wheel drive as standard. And we can look over here and actually see that the clutch pressure on the clutch B, you can see it actually is moving as I lift the brake and try to move. You can also see that we've got the longitudinal G logging, so we can look at your um, longitudinal acceleration. And then you've got the engine oil level, um, so we can see there it's got 5.3 litres, we're picking up the OEM PWM signal. You can obviously then fit, if you wanted to, uh, another set of aftermarket turbos if you wanted, um, or if you wanted to, um, you can also put additional six injectors into the engine so that you can uh, get the port injection as well. Um, we haven't actually found the limit of the DI pump yet, but we will know that, oh, I can say that when you are pushing these above, say, 850 horsepower, um, the OEM DI injectors are going to be maxing out for sure. Um, there's only so much time you can get the fuel in with direct injection and uh, and that's yeah, you're going to have points where the fuel uh, injection pulses are overlapping if you go more than that. So uh, after that point the port injection is required like on the Hurricane kits where it comes to standard now. It's a great feature to have because um, it, it stops the carbon build up in the engine and also when the uh, the port injector as the, the fuel evaporates as it's going into the uh, combustion chamber it pulls the latent heat out of the combustion and allows it to cool the charge as well. So um, that's one of the reasons why the Hurricane picked up some of the power um, because it had the uh, port injection. And we found that on many other kits as well. So it's a nice actual thing to have. On the standard ECU, you can't obviously do that. There are people that obviously sell kits where you can um, have the additional port injectors, but they are controlled by an external box. It's extremely dangerous. I've told, I've spoken about this before. It's really bad. Uh, basically, if the OEM ECU goes into any cut or limp or anything like that, and uh, and basically needs to do a fuel cut, if the OEM direct injectors uh, stop, then the port injectors keep going. You're going to have a real nasty situation where you've got a lean mixture uh, and on a, a direct injection engine where the OEM DI injector stops, um, you basically turn the DI injector when fuel is not flowing through it into a glow plug. Um, and you can have extreme like, problems of pre-ignition and, and lots of other things. So, although a lot of vendors out there are saying that yes, it's fine, and we do cut the injection if there is a problem, um, theoretically, I can't see how it's going to be quick enough. And uh, the, the important thing about the Cybex is that it's not cheap, but when you're spending thousands on modifying the engine, it's important to protect your investment. We've got the oil pressure trips, um, we've got the engine coolant pressure trip, so if the coolant pressure gets too high, if the oil pressure drops too low, um, the oil pressure is then pushed out onto the dash, uh, the engine oil uh, level, engine oil temp trips, lean lambda trip, so if you're on boost and it goes lean for any reason, um, then uh, it trips. It's got the full knock control for individual cylinders, if it knocks too much, again, you can make it shut down. A lot of people sometimes do find these limps frustrating, but when the car is fully calibrated and everything's right, they are there to save and protect your investment. So the cruise control switch, as with a lot of our kits, is used for the uh, map up and down. The cruise control does work, but it is only for um, just fixing a set speed. So when you press the button here, you can basically set the speed you wish to, to hold. Uh, as long as your pedal position is within a certain threshold and the RPM is stable, then you can do that. 
to change maps um, you use the, the cruise up and down button and basically a few people have asked that if we could make the taco um, change to show the map you're in. Unfortunately I did experiment with that but the problem is it messes with the transmission ECU. Uh, the transmission ECU looks at the RPM signal that comes from the engine ECU and that's the same RPM signal that's used for the dash. So when you manipulate that it does actually throw a code inside of the uh, transmission ECU and uh, yeah, it's not it's not great so we don't do that. So what we did is we offer the kit with five map positions so you can have five um, uh, positions. These are then shown on the oil pressure gauge. So for example at the moment we are in calibration one so if I go to calibration two and then three you can see it shows three if I go four you can see the uh, it's sorry that's in a, that's actually in three so let's go to two so we go to map two then map three map four and then say map five and it'll hold this, to, as you can see the oil pressure gauge does move slowly, that's a limitation of the oil pressure gauge, so we do keep it on for a while. And then after that, it's showing what map position you are in, it goes back to the normal uh, engine oil pressure. Other functions of the kit obviously still work, the uh, Sport Plus still works, um, the track smooth control uh, off button obviously works and uh, links in, you can see the PSM it comes off. And when this is obviously all working and that, then the uh, the launch control uh, obviously uh, works and enables only when the water temperature is uh, above 87 degrees. Um, we're going to now show some clips of the car obviously running and working, shifting, and uh, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> 